whatever you say to your therapist definitely remains confidential, right? Of course it does. Unless you're Amber Heard and you were griping about the upcoming Aquaman sequel. Trouble is once again brewing in DC land. For the last decade, Warner Brothers' Golden Goose franchise has basically been forced to operate under the principle of Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Dude, this is catastrophic. From the drama and real-life tragedy surrounding director Zack Snyder's exit from the DC Universe, to a string of notable flops and critical disappointments, to the most recent course correction that brought James Gunn and Peter Safran on board to steer this semi-rebooted ship, fans have hardly gone a minute without a fresh wave of poor publicity and dire headlines about the state of the franchise. Well, buckle up, because there's now even more chaos to be added to the pile. In an explosive development, Variety reports new allegations of stormy behavior on the set of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, details of near firings, and the involvement of billionaire Elon Musk of all people. The upcoming and oft-delayed blockbuster is already facing an uphill battle in terms of its place in the largely defunct Snyderverse, persistent rumors of extensive reshoots, and the ongoing controversy surrounding co-star Amber Heard and her messy public divorce and defamation trial with actor Johnny Depp. And on my side of the bed was human fecal matter. Now that court battle has once again leaked into the production, as documents subpoenaed by Depp's lawyers have been released to the public in the form of notes written by Heard's therapist. Adding a whole new layer of complications, the report details that Depp fans banded together to pay the court fees to have such documents released, despite Heard's wishes to keep them private. Due to this leak, the situation surrounding the big-budget Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom is going from bad to worse. Allegations found in the therapist's notes suggest a production beset by highly unprofessional behavior by an unsupportive co-star and director. According to the notes, Heard claimed that Jason Momoa expressed to her that he wanted her fired from her role as Aquaman's lover, Mera, and even arrived on set drunk while purposefully wearing clothing meant to remind her of Johnny Depp. Elsewhere, she alleged that director James Wan had raised his voice at her and blamed her for his difficulty in promoting the sequel to fans without distraction. Variety notes that a DC spokesperson pushed back on both allegations, maintaining that Momoa, quote, conducted himself in a professional manner at all times, and Wan fostered a positive, collaborative environment on set. Meanwhile, the report goes on to back up Heard's previous claims that her role was reduced and that the Depp scandal nearly cost her job. As far back as when Aquaman first released in 2018, Variety reveals that Juan and Warner Brothers informed Heard's lawyer of their intentions to fire her and move on without her in future appearances, apparently out of concerns about her lack of chemistry with Momoa. Not, as alleged, because of the Heard Depp trial or at Momoa's behest. However, it appears Heard's then boyfriend Elon Musk stepped in and sent a letter in which he threatened to derail production should they move forward with that decision. Clearly, Warner Brothers backed off and instead had the sequel highlight the Aquaman Orm dynamic rather than Herd's Mera. Tides are changing. It's important. The tides are changing. Of course, it's worth taking a measured perspective on this entire saga, which far outweighs matters of comic book movies and the direction of the franchise. First, it's important to note that therapy sessions are conducted with privacy in mind and that Herd had every right to express her feelings to a trusted therapist. There's a world of difference between making official accusations through the proper channels and simply venting about tough days on set and her feelings of being unsupported by the cast and crew. The disturbing detail in the Variety article that Depp fans actually funded the release of the therapist's notes in the first place only further muddies the waters, as one can only assume they did so in an effort to discredit Heard. As far as how this development affects the release of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom and the DC Universe overall, that remains unclear. The ongoing SAG after strike means that, at present, neither Heard nor Momoa will be able to promote the film themselves and open themselves up to all sorts of uncomfortable, awkward questions regarding their dynamic on set. However, should the strike resolve sometime soon, Warner Brothers will likely have to address this one way or another, much like how they resorted to keeping controversial star Ezra Miller out of the spotlight during the promotion of The Flash. Time will tell if Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom can avoid the same box office fate as that notorious flop or if moviegoers will ignore all this drama and turn out in droves when it releases on December 20th, 2023.